anxiety reliever number eight. John 14, 28. Remember that I told you I am going away, but I will come back to you again. Now, most likely in the text, hello, sir. Most likely in the text, Jesus was talking to them about going away to be crucified, and then he was going to rise from the dead and come back. But I also think in view is Judgment Day, at least for us. Jesus has gone away and he's coming back. Now, how does Judgment Day relieve my anxiety? Oh, it should. What's troubling you right now? What's causing you anxiety? Is it a person? Is it a coworker? Is it a relative who is just, they are on you, they are at you, causing heaviness in your life because they are committing an injustice against you? I'm not talking about manners. I'm not talking about picadillos. I'm talking about somebody sinning against you. Jesus is going to deal with them. Jesus is going to come back and there will be a day of judgment. Whoever is harming you, Jesus will punish. Judgment Day should bring a lot of comfort. When we see what's going on in our world, when we see the wackiness that's happening, everything is getting flipped upside down right now, and we think, ah, oh, what well, well, we're leaving for our kids, this is awful, this is terrible. The world and what Bill Maher has to say and what Barack Obama is doing. Jesus is gonna come back and he is going to pour out his wrath on evildoers. Am I worried about what's gonna to happen to them? No, God's gonna deal with them. Vengeance is his and God will pour out his wrath on Barack Obama for killing millions of babies, for promoting immoral lifestyles. Or Jesus will have received the wrath that Barack Obama deserves when he died on a cross for Barack Obama. Either way, justice will be served. Either way, justice will be served. And if I could throw this in as an aside, if you're concerned about what's going on in culture, don't be distracted by the sidetrack issues. They're important. We just read about a Southern Baptist pastor in California. He's changed his mind about homosexuality. What do you know, his son came out of the closet, so he's changed his position. Now he's written a book endorsed by Phyllis Tickle. And now the Southern Baptist Convention is coming up, and I suspect there's going to be a lot of talk at the Southern Baptist Convention about this Southern Baptist pastor who now says it's okay to be gay in an unrepentant lifestyle of sin. That's okay. And I suspect if the Southern Baptists aren't careful, they're going to be focusing on that issue a lot. And I think the devil loves that. That issue is worth, that's, it's worth dealing with. But that young man at that church who is living in a homosexual, unrepentant lifestyle has got a much bigger issue and problem, and we should be concerned about the same thing. He's going to hell right now. And so too probably his dad if he's endorsing that sort of lifestyle. It's about salvation. We see our culture going wonky. Our marching orders are to do what Jesus came to do, and that is to seek and to save that which is lost. Because when Judgment Day comes, Barack Obama, Bill Maher, you name your favorite atheist, your favorite pagan, they're going to face God Almighty, and he is going to throttle them. And that should not delight us. We should rush to proclaim the gospel to those people so that they repent and put their trust in Jesus Christ. And I happen to believe when we do that, the culture will change all by itself. Judgment Day is of great comfort to us, and it should also be a great motivator.